So, Golden Eagle, what numbers on my number plate add up to? For the last time, Billy, it's 26! Oh, what is it with you two adding numbers? Well, Jessica, the numbers on Golden Eagle's number plate add up to 11, and mine added up to 26. I win! <laughs> I'm surrounded by buffoons. Oh, shut up, nerd! Settle down, everyone! Right now, we need to find a replacement for Robbie, as he has just been purchased by a Heritage Railway. Yeah, you're right. So let's think, who could be a replacement for Robbie? Well, we already ruled out Flying Scarson, but he's needed on Agatha's part of the Fox Railway. Hey! Wait a second! Duh! Why don't we just replace him with Edward? Edward? Really? That guy is a Sodor engine! Yeah, I know. But don't you ever read the comments about him on other YouTube videos? The viewers love Edward! Well, be that as it may, he's currently on the island of Sodor, which means he's unavailable right now. Doggone it! I'm sorry, guys. I'm tired. Hey! What the- Who are you talking to? Abadie? Your mom? Eagle! I'm an engine! I don't have a mom! That's not what your driver said last night. Excuse me? Hey, come on now. We're getting off topic here. I agree. What we need is someone who is brave and wise like Robbie was, and it has to be someone who likes to manage both goods and passengers. I understand what you mean, Billy, but I don't consider that a convincing argument. I mean, who is capable of being just like Robbie? Well... It would have to be someone who likes to be helpful and not cause any trouble. And like Billy said, this engine would have to be brave and wise. Well, who are you suggesting? Dusty the Krusty Boiler? Absolutely not! Okay, that was very insulting, Golden Eagle. Insulting? How dare ye! What do you mean, how dare me? You were the one who made that rude remark about Dusty! What on earth are you talking about, Jessica? Well, engines like Dusty may not have been successful back in the day, but I think they're just as capable of being wise and helpful just as much as Edward and Milo! If not even more capable. Look, we ain't getting anywhere with this conversation. I agree. Besides, the decision of who is going to replace Robbie isn't up to us. It's Daniel's decision. I hope he makes a perfect one, too, because if he doesn't, I myself will be blue again. What? You were actually painted blue? Yes, I was. And I wore smoke deflectors at that time, too. Now you're changing the subject entirely, honestly, DOA. Oh, come on! Can't a girl have a chance to talk about her past? Yeah, but we're not talking about that. We're discussing who could be a good replacement for Robbie. Do both? No! I hate to agree with Ned, but he's right. We need to find who could be the great replacement for Robbie. Maybe it'll be my BR Green twin, Miles Beaver. We LNER engines are wise and do whatever work we're given. And how come some of you A4s refused to do goods work back in the 20th century? We were younger engines at the time, Billy. Oh yeah? Then how come you refuse to take any gunpowder trains during the time before that fire a couple of weeks ago? Shut up, you little black pipsqueak! Boy, when did you get off calling me a little black pipsqueak? I got off calling you a little black pipsqueak because you are one, you little id! Hold your beak, you silly bird! Can we please stop this arguing and get back on track? I'm with you on that. Anyway. I don't think an LNER A4 would be a suitable replacement for Robbie. How dare ye! My class are more than capable of being wise, brave, and helpful engines, like the old wise ones that are even older than us! Oh, stop being such a drama king, Golden Eagle! Thank you, Jessica. Come on, guys. As I said before, the decision isn't up to us. Daniel will decide Robbie's replacement. Well, DOA, I hope Daniel makes a good choice too, so for now, all we can do is-
Whoa! What just happened? It sounded like something big just crashed down from the sky. Well, whatever it was, it must be big. I could feel the ground vibrating under my wheels. And I just saw it crash down. Huh? Daniel? When did you get here? Just now. I saw something big crash down nearby, but I couldn't tell what it was. Billy, I want you to collect Hunter and Colleen and go to the crash site to investigate. Do you want me to investigate with them? If you want. Okay. Jeez! Something big crash landed here. I'm worried. Something fell from the sky. And we don't know what it is. It might not even be from Earth. Hmm. Yeah, you have a point. Aye, you're right. We'll just have to hope it's nothing too dangerous. We're glad you could come and take us to the site, Billy. No prop, Hunter. Look! There it is! Bust my buffers, look at the size of it! I'll say, it must weigh over 50 million tons! Agreed! Billy, approach it slowly! We've searched the whole ship, but there's nobody in there. And all the computers are turned off. Not to mention, this thing looks very... off-world. Strange. Well, we better report this to the others. Come on, let's go.